When it comes to running your new smoker, smoked chicken is one of the easiest and most affordable things that you can make. Now there are ways that you can simplify the process and that's what I'm here to show you today. I have a five and a half pound chicken and I've got my new gateway drum smoker running at about 300, 325 degrees and I'm gonna show you exactly how I make chickens here at home. Now let's get started. When it comes to smoked chicken, the easiest method to use is the spatchcock method. Things cook way more evenly and a lot faster when we do it that way. Now you're saying, what the hell is a spatchcock? Well, we take your chicken, we cut the spine out, spread it open and flatten it out. Now that alone is going to make it cook evenly and it's also going to make it cook much faster. Now spatchcocking it requires a couple tools and that's either a good sharp knife or a good pair of poultry shears. I'll put a link down in the description to both of these because either one will work. But get yourself some scissors. Now you're gonna find the spine and we're gonna wanna cut about an inch of the back out. You're gonna go a little bit to the right and just start snapping right through there. And then we're gonna flip it around and we're gonna go a little off to the left here. And you can just hear these good poultry shears just chomping through those bones. There you have it, a spatchcock chicken. Now, to complete the spatchcock process, if you take your knife, your sharp knife, you wanna give it a whack right on the backside of this breastbone, just like that. Now that cuts that bone and now it allows you to spread it open like that. Now while we're back here in the cavity, we're gonna take a paper towel and we're gonna clean up uh, some of the insides here. And we're also gonna take our sharp knife and any large chunks of fat or any flesh that's hanging off or skin like this big chunk right here, we're gonna slice that right off. Anything like that is just gonna burn as it's basically just in the way. Just gonna remove a few more pieces of that fat around here. There is a hawk screaming somewhere. At it's right there. I wonder if it saw this chicken sitting here for the 30 seconds I ran in the house. <laughs> well, if it lands on the table, uh, Lord, Lord help me. Now, we're gonna flip this thing over and this is essentially the pose that we're looking to get. Now, this chicken is still pretty wet on the surface and I wanna make sure that we dry it up. Just get yourself some paper towel. Pat dry that sucker down. Remember they do package these chickens in a brine so they're pretty juicy when they come out. When it comes to seasoning my chicken, what I like to do is start off with a binder. I just use a light coat of olive oil. So keep one of your rubber gloves on. Put just a little bit in there and we're going to wipe the backside of this chicken down. And today I'm gonna to be using the Bearded Butcher's original seasoning. As you can see, I'm actually wearing one of their shirts. For those of you who don't know, I'm actually from Northeast Ohio and I'm only about 30 to 40 minutes away from the Bearded Butcher's. I'm gonna be making a visit out there pretty soon to meet the guys and see what they got to offer out there. But I love their seasonings. If you're interested in them, I've got a link down in the description. You can use that link in my promo code, save yourself a few bucks. I like this one here because it's a good all-purpose barbecue rub. And we're just gonna season this nicely on the back here. Take my glove and pat that in just to make sure it's sticking to that olive oil binder. We will flip this chicken over a little bit more oil and we are going to rub that onto the surface of this chicken make sure that we get the wings and the armpits everything like that and hit it again with that bearded butcher's original seasoning one thing that i want to do here is i'm going to peel back some of the skin here from the breast we're going to get a little bit of that seasoning down inside below that skin. It's gonna help let that seasoning and those flavors penetrate nice and deep into that chicken. 
Now we'll finish this up, get a nice healthy coating here. In terms of spatchcock chicken, that's all you have to do. That's just several minutes of prep. I've already got the smoker fired up. It's sitting at about 300. We'll get that thing up to about 325 degrees. Let's get this thing over to the gateway drum. All right, spatchcock chicken, gateway drum, running at about 300, 325 degrees. Let's get this thing on. Now we're just running today with some standard briquettes. I've got some hickory wood down in there, and man, it smells great. Let's get this thing closed up. We're gonna monitor that temperature on that chicken using that dial on the front. I'm also gonna throw my thermal work signals on here in just a moment. We're gonna use that to monitor not only the internal temperature of the drum, we're also going to monitor the internal temperature of that chicken. Now, with that being said, we're looking for 165 degrees in the breast. We're looking to keep this smoker around that 300, 325 degree range. We're gonna slap some smoke on this chicken and I'm gonna show you how good a chicken can be made right in your backyard. We're sitting at about the three hour total mark and the chicken is registering 165 degrees in both breasts or better. Checked it with my Thermapen one if you're interested in an instant read thermometer that'll never let you down. Be sure to check these out, they're great. Let's get the lid off this thing. Let's get this chicken out of here. It is time and man, I'll tell you what, we got some beautiful color on that chicken. So when getting them off of this drum smoker, I find it easiest to tag team with a spatula and some tongs. Helps you get under it and get around it. Let's get this over to the cutting board. Let's give it a few minutes to rest and we're gonna give it a try. As you can see, these spatchcock chickens are basically a set it and forget it kind of meal. And in all honesty, from start to finish about three hours is an absolutely great meal, especially for the weekday or even for something simple on the weekend. As you can see, we produced a beautiful looking skin. We got great color and I bet you it tastes just as good as it looks. But enough talking, let's get it cut up. I can already tell you it's super juicy. The juice is on the table already, you can see that. We'll get in here, we'll pull this breast out and it's still good and hot too, damn. When it comes to cooking, it all boils down to that first bite. So let's give it a try. There is an incredible smoke flavor on that chicken. That gateway drum smoker ran like a singer sewing machine this entire time, and it made for an awesome finished product. It is a little bit of a, a learning curve to run one of these, but once you figure it out, they run phenomenally and they produce a lot of smoke. This is barbecue that you're not used to. This chicken turned out great. I'm gonna continue to cut this up because this is our dinner tonight. I'm gonna give a little bit of that dark meat a try. Personally, I'm a dark meat man. Mmm. So tender, so juicy. And I don't know if you can see it. I just made a little cut in there. You can actually see the smoke penetration that made it through the skin. We've got some pink on the outside. It's juicy, it's tender, and it is delicious. And if you're looking for more recipes that fit all of those categories, be sure to check this video out right here.